So speaking of Habib and Ferguson, right? So I don't think they still, uh, 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 as of yesterday, they didn't announce the fight yet, right? What do you think? Is there, is there a chance that they're going to stick McGregor somehow? What's the... I, I've said that until you find out officially that Habib Tony is signed, and even then it's not concrete, right? Because yeah. it's like the fifth time that we're trying this thing. <laughs> really, until the two walk <laughs> in the cage... <laughs> I would not put it past the UFC that somehow McGregor finds his way into a Habib fight. And it's, it's obvious in so many ways, for, even with McGregor announcing this phantom January 18th comeback that the UFC really won't confirm. They say there's talks, but it's not concrete. It's a lottery ticket in a jar, the idea of Habib Connor too. I fear the UFC with everything going on with Connor outside the cage, like you really don't have the confidence that he's going to keep his life together to fight consistently or that he's going to come back and be the same guy. Like Connor might come back against the cowboy or Justin Gage G or even like a Frankie Edgar type. And he may lose. Like you just don't know the, the way he, the way that cage rust held him down against Habib and the way that he just got dominated in every other aspect and got outstruck by a wrestle. Like every, that you, it just was sort of a wake up call that who he was on that insane build that magic's gone. And, and I don't know if he can recapture that. So if you, that's part of the thinking of your UFC of saying, you know, we could lose this lottery ticket or it could get yeah. dampened or watered down. But the, the fight to make is undoubtedly Habib Tony, And it's almost poetic that we had to wait this long because now the fight means more than it ever could have or would have. And both have been through so much. But if you go back and compile Dana White's quotes, it's, it's troubling. When he's asked about it, he's like, oh, yeah, that fight's definitely next. But, you know, we got to see about Tony. We got to see if he accepts it. We, you know, I mean, you know what that means. Let's see if he takes the number we throw out at him, which will probably oh, yeah, be some 20. kind of low ball. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's frustrating as heck, but you got to make that fight. No one is more deserving, no one, than Tony Ferguson. So make the damn fight already. Who would you have in that fight? I know you're going to say, look, it's, it's impossible. I know, but who would Brian Campbell think would win all right ferguson is the only guy who can do that because um i mean look his ground game is sick he can wrestle and he's got such a weird frenetic style uh striking pace that you, you can't prepare for i don't know how you would prepare for that and be able to handle that and he has like there's there's certain variables and intangibles when you hype when you break down a big fight i used to say this about mcgregor do you remember the obviously you remember the run he was on that that yeah. ended with the eddie alvarez fight there was almost an element of yeah. with magic. Did you say magic? You just said the word. Because I, I was captivated. I was like, man, I, what did we do before this guy came, uh, came in? You know, and that's... there was an ele- and I used to say like, I don't know if he's dabbling in the dark magic and the dark arts in the. Uh, I don't know if there's like a crystal ball and and he's and he's killing chickens, but there was a belief in that stretch that that man could do anything. And when you handicapped a fight, which is why I picked. Connor to come back from two years and not could be about and people are like dude like do you not see this and I'm like the magic is real guys I watched him <laughs> knock out Jose Aldo when he had no business doing it. I watched him lure Eddie Alvarez into it's kind of a reckless brawl and just take him out with a four punch combo I watched this man believe things into action so that had to become part of the scouting report some people laugh at it I think it's legitimate I'm going to say the same thing about Tony Ferguson, but say the guy's a sadistic animal. <laughs> he does not care. He will walk into oncoming traffic and wave at you while he's doing it. He will take pain willingly, openly to test you and break you. Now, no one's going to break Habib, but his willingness to stand in and out through everything. Could you imagine a scenario in which Tony gets – the fight goes to the ground. Tony punts around on his back, but, like, he's always going to keep coming back. That would be interesting because the idea of Habib – no, it, it's, it's interesting. The 223 performance from Habib against Ally Aquinta is like mm-hmm. – I can't tell if we should double down on the meaning of it because of the mental F he was going through with, with Connor attacking the bus and then the late opponent switches and not knowing he's fighting Ali Aquinta until like 24 hours before and not to mention Raging Al is a good ass Al, a solid guy. And we saw Habib dominate that fight. Excuse me, but um, at the same time, sort of fade laid a bit, be unable to really do what he does in the last two rounds. Is that who Habib really is in a five round fight or not? We don't really know that yet. Ferguson would be the guy to uh, potentially expose that. This is a long way of me saying until <laughs> Habib loses, I cannot pick against him until he's showing like, 
I mean, do you realize where this is? I've made a lot of Floyd Habib comparisons and it's from the standpoint of dominance. And it's from the standpoint of like, when we were handicapping Floyd's fights on this, on this, um, this pay-per-view run that he was on, it was sort of like, well, remember that time Zab Judah hit him with that one shot or remember that time Shane Mosley rocked him yeah. with that one shot or remember, and then you're always picking out these single moments and it's like that with the beef. Well, Michael Johnson lit him up. Well, well, did he really light him up? You know, Gleason t had success on the ground nine years. Well, did, did he really like you're picking apart the most minuscule moment to try to say, no, Habib is operating on such an insane level. I think that fight might even go the distance. It would be sick and it'd be out of control, but I think Habib can win that fight. So if you would think of